guys, I'm Alejandra. And I'm Caroline. And today we're making white chocolate peanut butter bread pudding. This is such a fun, kind of cozy, comforting dessert to make if you've got a big crowd coming over for like a weekend brunch party with the family. Everybody loves this. It's the one that everybody keeps going back for more. It's simple ingredients too, stuff you can easily find. We've got some sugar, butter that I've already melted, a little bit of salt, vanilla extract, four large eggs, some whole milk, and some heavy cream. And then we've got our white chocolate wonderful peanut butter. I also pop that into the microwave just for a few seconds to warm it up and make it nice and easy to stir. And then we've got some white chocolate chips that we're gonna stir in. And of course, for the bread pudding, super important, our brioche bread. It's about a day old, so it's a little bit stale. It'll absorb all the goodness, and we diced it up into these kind of one inch cubes. All right, lady, let's get started. Yes. All right, so we're just gonna first mix up that sort of custardy base, just in a big old bowl, the biggest one you've got. I'm gonna start off with the milk and the heavy cream. Get our sugar in there, start whisking. So the idea here is just to get all these ingredients kind of combined, and then we'll add the bread so we can soak all the goodness up. Our eggs, we'll add the salt, our vanilla extract, and the white chocolate wonderful. So yeah, just about like 30 seconds or a minute in the microwave is enough just to kind of make it super smooth. Get that all evenly combined. So now, if you can add those bread cubes. I'm using a brioche for this, so I just got kind of a big loaf, cut it up into these about one inch cubes, nice big chunks. But you can really use any kind of bread, like a challah or even just a regular loaf of sandwich bread will work. You want about a pound of it. When I'm feeling extra decadent, I also love to use croissant or something like Ooh. that. Ooh. Delicious. All right, so you just kind of want to toss it, make sure that all those bread cubes get covered in this deliciousness. Peanut buttery goodness. <laughs> get it all in there. And then once you do that, you can just leave it on a counter for, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Just want it to soak up all the goodness. The staler the bread, the longer it needs to soak. If you're using fresh bread, then it's gonna be super quick. All right, guys, so look, this has been in here. See how the bread's a little bit mushy, or there's still a little bit of liquid in there, that's fine. That's just gonna bake up really nice. And now, before we put it into our baking pan, finishing touch, we're putting in these delicious white chocolate chips. Ooh. Really up in that white chocolate factor here. Just wanna toss them and get them evenly distributed. And then Caroline's got a large baking pan here. We just buttered it up real good. That's gonna add a little touch of extra flavor, plus keep the bread pudding from totally sticking okay. to the pan. Yeah. And then we'll just transfer all this into the baking pan. You could technically do this right in the baking pan the whole time, but I like a big bowl because it really lets you kind of mix it all up and make sure that the custard mix is distributed evenly. All right, guys, so this is ready to go in the oven. You wanna cover it with foil for the first part of baking. So you're gonna do about 40 minutes at 300 degrees with the foil. Then just open up the oven, pull that foil off, and then leave it in there uncovered for another 10 minutes. That's gonna give you those toasty, delicious edges. All right, guys, we got this out of the oven. I let it cool just a tiny little bit, but this is one of those things you can enjoy super warm. You see it's all kind of crunchy on top. It's pulled away from the sides a little bit. So I want to <laughs> add one little finishing touch. I've got some more of that warm white chocolate wonderful, and I'm just going to drizzle it right on top. Just kind of want to get it on there. It's still a little bit warm, which is nice. Ooh, look at those crunchy edges. And wait, one finishing touch, one finishing touch. A little whipped cream. Oh, nice. They turn whipped cream on top. This is optional, of course, but I mean, is whipped cream really optional? <laughs> and there you have it. White chocolate peanut butter bread pudding. It mm. is. Uh, oh my god, you guys. I wish you guys were here. This is delicious. No, I'm glad you're not here, so that I'm sharing. <laughs> no, just kidding. We love you. <laughs> mm. Oh man. Mm. It's gooey. And there's a little crunchy bit. So peanut buttery too, Super it's so good. The white chocolate wonderful is amazing, especially with those little white chocolate chips. We use white chocolate wonderful for our bread pudding, but any one of the awesome peanut butter and company flavors would be great too. Which would you choose for your bread pudding? Tell us in the comment section. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We hope you loved the recipe, and if you did, give us a thumbs up. Every week, we cook up a new peanut buttery dish, so make sure you follow the Peanut Butter and Company channel to catch them all. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
All right, guys, let's try it. Ooh, wait, no, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the recipe. Oops. All right, let's do that again. Please wait. Okay. Great. We have to do eight.